Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show the 3D BIM model submission process. Okay. So as you are aware that uh, in the initial days, we are used to submit the PDFs and DWG files to the client you know, and uh, printed formats also for construction purpose. And then for nowadays, we are uh, entirely BIM process improving. So we have to submit the 3D BIM model of the roads. Okay. So there are, I think, four to five formats are there. So that can be used for the uh, for BIM modeling. Okay, like class detection. Okay, all those things. You can assign a time and a cost. All those things. Okay. So for that, we have to prepare a proper 3D BIM model. Once our corridor and everything has been modeled, we have to give a proper output. That output I am showing here. So first open the open roads model whatever you have prepared it then open default 3d and then here see this is our 3d model okay in 3d model always remember switch on go to level display and then go to global display okay global display and then right click all off okay even including default also switch off okay now switch on only TC layers. TC layers means template component. Whatever you have prepared in a in a template while creating like assembly. Only template components. Okay. And then grade finish if required. So only those layers are required. Okay. That layers switch on it in global display and then go there here. Check illustration ignore lighting. session ignore lighting yeah now have a look okay I will look over the yeah like this I will look then go to file then export then see v8 format DGN then here here given name proper 3d dgl go to options here filter mode models click only default 3d okay there are so many uh, models has been developed and sheet view is also developed so click only default 3d model click ok ok and then again save so 3d dgl has been created see to LMB okay in this there is no corridor no alignment simply mesh means mesh means components template components will be there okay these components is required for the BIM modeling purpose okay like Revit or Revisto there are so many softwares they will import this 3d DGN into there and they will import the drainage DGN also and uh, not, not only DGN there are various formats they will import all the related models in a single single file in navis work all those things once they have done they will do a class detection so our role is providing the proper output for bim purpose okay so now 3d dgn is done similar way 3d cad okay. export dwg same process here 3d cad okay now go to filter again models select only default 3d ok save done check whether it created or not back yeah created 3d cad so 16 mb ok now <coughs> so this two done one more is the ifc format industry foundation classes uh, so this is a new format ok see IFC is a short, not on this one. This is the correct one. In general, IFC or industry foundation classes is a standardized digital description of built environment, including buildings and structure. So this format can be opened in any software. Okay. Any, any BIM related software, Revit. Okay. If you see the image, 
will get an idea see ifc geometry plus data and then ifc for bim applications okay ifc is a universal type format that also client may request you so 3d dgn 3d cad and then ifc for ifc in open roads there is a option directly see export to ifc in home only export to ifc and then click here and then click none simply it will create a mesh it will explode uh, export it to export all whatever we have displayed that's why i told you always use global display then export it okay and then go here match it gn here 3d ifc then save that's it ifc files is will be somewhat higher compared to the normal files ifc c 25 mb okay this is the file size now one more is there naviswork naviswork catchy file nwc file for that you have to uh, uh, you must have naviswork file nwc file uh, naviswork in software installation so so let me do that i will show you so once you open the naviswork manage okay and then go here append and then open the gn here see any cad file is best one because both are from the autodesk okay you just click here open so it will create automatically nwc file catchy file okay here see this is the model this is our road model okay so in this naviswork only they will import the uh, drainage structure okay uh, all utilities everything once they will import it and they will do the class detection analysis it will generate automatically the class detection report so uh, that will share with the designer okay and contractor so so once uh, that class detection has been done they ha we have to modify our open roads model okay so that's a repetitive process so it will reduce a lot of uh, means repetitive work uh, means uh, in the construction process so that's why uh, this type of modeling all things are required okay so as a designer a road designer our role is responsible for providing this 3d bim models every bi weekly or weekly so that's it guys so i hope you understood the main purpose of this video so mainly four formats are required 3d cad 3d dgn uh, 3d ifc so this is 3d ifc and wc already created so change the name to 3d and wc okay format is there still see these four formats are required. we have to close this so then try again see this four formats we have to share with the bim managers they will do the class detection uh, and uh, requirement required things okay so very easy first you have to go to 3d move 3d view and then here go to global display switch only the uh, tc layers okay tc layers and export it okay export using here this option very simple that's it so this this process should be done once your corridor modeling has been freezed okay so if any my any errors are there then you should not do this okay so thanks guys thanks for watching please subscribe my channel and support me